What's up, Bar Nation? Bar here. Welcome back to another forest video. It's been a few days since we've been in the forest, and I hope you uh, are glad to be back watching the videos uh, as I am. So, in my last video, we kind of said camp up on the beach, as you can see here. We got a few food items, and we set a campfire, uh, and we've also made ourselves a little shack, and we've got some water collectors here. But in today's video, we are going to be working on a sort of uh, base layer and then we're also going to go get the modern axe which is uh, a handy tool to have so while we're here on the beach we're going to grab a food and we're going to grab some meat and we're going to uh, eat that meat and uh, then we are going to go uh, drink a soda so what I feel like we should do first is get the modern axe, which is uh, a good item to get. It's uh, an axe that you can get in the game, one of the axes in the game. There are three axes, the plain axe, the worst the axe, and the modern axe. The modern axe being the best out of them. And it's really easy to find as we have to go far up in the island to a cannibal camp and grab them, grab the item. And then after that we should make a base layer and then start grabbing some wood for it. So who knows what we'll do in our adventure, but <laughs> let's get onwards. And here we are, the cannibal camp of the modern axe cave. So around this uh, place there should be a cave leading to the modern axe. Uh, so if we just open them... Uh, oh shit, there appears to be two cannibals there. Oh, they're trying to attack. One's got a stick. One's got nothing. Let's try to take them both on at the same time. See how he's battling me. So hopefully if I start killing one, uh, it will scare the other one off. There he is, dead. Good riddance. And the other one seems to be running off, but we'll probably come back. Uh, let's grab some soda cans and dynamite. That's good. Uh, first thing I want to do is actually burn this body because burning this body, uh, I'll be able to get uh, some bones and then I can make the upgraded spear, which you can get in the game. You can just find it normally in one of the cannibal camps. But it is uh, kind of easier just to um, like burn a body and then you get six bones. Got some flares there. I need sticks. Is there any sticks laying around? Actually, I'll hit on the etchies. Uh Good thing is to hit etchies because they drop skulls, stones, uh, skulls, and all that stuff. Uh, where did that? Jeez, oh, I can barely see. Because my brightness is really high, I'll probably have to turn my brightness down. Okay, so that bar landed on the body. We got the body there. And the body will burn. Uh, while we do that, I'm gonna turn my brightness down. Cause it is hella, hella, hella bright. So, just turn it down a tad bit. Turn it up when we get into the cave, so we can see what we're doing. If you want to use this as a guide to the game, feel free to do that. I don't mind. This is mainly just my experience on the game. Oh shit, we got more cannibals. And uh, looks like we've got a horde of cannibals coming our way. Uh, that's not really good. I kind of need this body to burn quickly, otherwise... You know, we're going to get bummed by some cannibals. And I also do want to explore the rest of this. Oh shit, he's coming. Another one behind us? Oh, there we go. Okay, we got loads. I think it's time we leave them out of the situation. So, we, we're we going to explore this place, actually, uh, in a bit. We're going to explore this place when we're done here. But here's the cave, if you're wondering. Uh, I won't mark it, but I'll come back up uh, the way that I need to. And then we'll grab more sticks, and then, we'll, yeah. Well, we're in the cave now. I think we'll turn our brightness up just a tad bit now, uh, just so people can see uh, if the brightness is not on. So, 
Yeah. Also, if you do die in this game, uh, you'll either get to survive days, or you'll either get caught hanging here, along with the bodies, and this will be the spawn. Uh, good thing about going down in this cave, and you will get hair spray. Uh, hairspray is a good item because you can use it along with a lighter as a flamethrower and that's kind of handy to burn bodies but it's also more handier to use an upgraded stick just so you're not using your hairspray and he's moving on uh, once we're down here as well we can get the compass and the map the cave map or just the map in general and uh, there's also this uh, story thing a jealous god punishes a uh, parents fault in their children so while we're here we're gonna make the upgrade stick for the upgrade sphere uh just so we're gonna have it so get three bones get two cloth and then weak sphere and you can make the upgraded sphere which is probably gonna be a handy item up until you get uh the katana maybe or something else along the lines like that but yeah, uh, venture on then. Uh, coming down here, there are many paths you can take. Uh, most notably, you can go right uh, when we get to the area. So this is the area. Oh shit, there's also a cannibal you can find down here. We're gonna kill him. Uh, you might notice that the cannibal. Oh shit, he is raping me. Dude, he's raping me. Get off me. Uh, when I use the metaphor of rape, I mean as in like he's like bathroom me so when i mean rape i don't literally mean rape uh it's kind of a metaphor or just the word i use when i get battered but another way is let's batter this guy kind of run out of uh energy there okay, he's dead i cannot hit him but yeah you will come up Across this area, you can take two, two different paths. You can take the right side and you can meet up with one of the mutants called uh, the Legsy, uh, or you can take the left path and you can go to the Monax. Also, this little wooden bit, once destroyed, I can't destroy it, let me. Once destroyed, uh, you will stumble upon a dead body uh, and can't get through. Uh, but you'll stumble upon a guy with some rope and a uh, dead body, and he's got some cash on him. So, kind of handy to take that uh, along your travels. Uh, let me out, please. Uh, we'll continue on. Um, once we go down here, we will stumble upon either one more cannibal or two more cannibals. So, let's come down here. Okay, we've got two cannibals. Uh, we're gonna skip by them quickly uh, because there's an item down here that will be able to help counter them. It's not the modern axe, but it uh, that can be helpful as well. But it's a different item uh, in general. So, ready right there. There we go. Alright, so once we're down here, you stumble upon these boxes and a ton of them. And over in the corner here, you will find the modern axe in its glory, and uh, a lot of items. So let's start picking some items up, uh, like dynamite and cloth and rope. And then you come over to the good shit, uh, and this item right here, which is the paint. This item is what I was on about that will help counter cannibals because. Uh, if you've seen in the first episode, I think, uh, if not, I can't remember, but I think I showed off the intro to the uh, forest, and there's a red guy, or a guy covered in red paint. He's what's considered the god of the cannibals, and whenever you walk by a cannibal, instead of fighting you, they will instead pray to you, and not hit you. So, if you're ever in dire need, of not being hit by cannibals, just put the red paint on and you will be safe. Uh, it is kind of hard to find, but you can mainly find it here. You can also find it right beside a cannibal tent uh, near the modern axe. Cannibal camp, basically, that's what I'm going to call it for now. Uh, and you find it in loads of different caves. But anyways, uh, we'll go up here and we'll get uh, other items uh, like cloth, you can find these cloth cases, it's really handy to have cloth, 
be one of the most common items in the game. Getting a lot of it is good. I'm actually hungry as well. I probably should have packed some more food along for this journey. So let's get the hell out of here. As you can see, they will still do their normal movements, you know, they'll run back, they'll kind of stare at you, but there you go, they will bend down and they will pray to you. So, it's good. Now, unless you attack them, they will start attacking back, but other than that, if you don't attack the cannibals, they will leave you in peace, they will not attack you. Uh, if they do attack you, it is a minor bug glitch, so don't get worried, don't worry if they start attacking you, it is just a glitch. Paint does work. As you can see, they bend down and they start praying to you. Now, there is a way to get out here, the back way over here. Uh, you can take this other route out. Just, uh, it's like a little crack in the, in the mountain side. Uh, you can go out that way, or you can go out back by the modern, or the cannibal camp, basically. And that's the way we're going to take, just because um, I do want to... I do wanna they don't want you see when they do that they do the like sort of like thing they'll start like running around crazy and you think oh no they're gonna attack me that's just the, what they do they're not gonna attack you do not fear this might be more of a longer video just because we're exploring and then we have to make uh the layer to our base see i'm thinking of making a small little base on the beach as well as making a base up by that tree uh that you've seen oh shit it's a little bit uh can i get it can i get it Come on, cheer for Brado. Unless you don't want to. Right. Okay, so let's uh, grab that booze. And let's mark this cave. Let's go over here to a uh, stick marker. Uh, leave it yellow. Leave it yellow. Caves will be yellow. And tennis balls. No need them. Uh, any fuel cans around, that would be handy. Some more flares. Uh, ah, circuit boards. Three circuit boards. So, um, these cases respawned. Might be first. Oh, some of them. Unless these are new ones that I haven't touched. Because I did have to run, so I can't really tell if anything's new or not. So, right. When I say eat somebody, I mean say that. The character wanna hit right. Can't really fucking hit properly if you're gonna be. Slapping under the case. Sorry, this drags on too long. I don't. I. I can't. I don't know why. I hate when videos drag on too long and then I just stop talking. It's kind of annoying me. Although, like, I, I hope you do not not mind that. You probably do, but I don't know. I think it's back this way that leads. Ah, oh, there's the fuel can case. Fucking, I can't talk. Fuel uh, can uh, hot. The cloth. I think down here is the way to the other um the, the other paint. You can get more paint around the area, so here's the paint. Oh, there's a laptop. Okay, more support. This is the paint, the other paint. There's a little bit. I didn't get him. No. I wanna What? I hit you. That sounded like I hit him. Did I hit like just a leaf? Probably did. Just hit leaf. Look at more sticks. I need to make the stick bag. That's what I need to make. But I also need to kill on those bats so. though. Uh. Yeah. Come here. Oh, I think I really caught up. Oh, this game, this game, grr. Skip all that, basically. I'll probably spend speed that up. I'm just like chasing animals around for no reason, and it's becoming nighttime, so that's not really good. 
Um, we'll take this, but we won't take the paint, because taking the paint will just not respawn it. So the next few minutes here, I just kind of, you know, run round, and then I make a little hut and sleep, and then run back to the base. So I don't think he's want to see that, so I'm just going to skip back to when I'm at my base, and then I'll see you all when I'm back there. Alright, new day. Uh, time to eat some meat. Did it rain at all? Nope. Of course it But, um, yeah. Probably didn't want to hear that, but yeah. Right, um, might as well get started on building this base. So, what I want to do is I want to have, uh, these defense walls, uh, on my, on my own world, I use, uh, like, custom walls. And they're not powerful, so I want to have these defense walls. And I'm just going to have it, like, going all throughout the base. I'm going to have it going inside. Oh, it's a turtle. I'm going to kill you now in a minute. So, probably in the water there. So we have literally nothing coming around. Okay. So then, like, that's a good spot to set up. Stop there. We'll stop there. It's up here. Up there. Up here. There. And then we go all the way here. And about here. Like, or so, about here. Actually, I didn't mean to add that last bit, but I'd be grand. But um, yeah, so we need a lot of logs. We need 336 logs for this layout. So that's not really fun. So now we need to make, uh, before we start building, we need to make uh, all these different exits. So we need to... So that should be a gate there, and um, I guess I'll have like one gate out here just so we can get like out this way. So uh, just one gate like that, one gate like that. Okay, finally figuring out how to make uh, gates in this fucking game because I never knew how to. Because I'm not as smart as people. Uh, Ah, oh, shit. There we go. Then down here we'll have another gate. Just go on. There. To there. Okay. Dokey. So now that we have a lots of exits, now we need to make a lots of, uh, sleds to carry our logs in so what we're going to do is we're going to make the sleds, uh, I'm going to start placing all these different sleds then, so I need to get the sled, if I can find the sled, it's around here, there is a log sled, so I'll make, what I want to do is actually I want to make a dedicated spot to having the sleds, so we'll actually make a rock wall, we place it right here, then we go there, 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 then we just add on from that wall, so we go into this, Like that. Like that. Then. So that's two sleds. So that should be grand. Okay. So now that that's done, finally. <laughs> that took a while. 
uh, we can finally place down our sleds and we'll do that now. Uh, now we have to go back and find the sleds, which they are there. We swap them around like that. So we go one, make about like four or so. We do three for now, we do three for now. So So wait actually what is the stick bag and how stick bag is one rabbit for. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna skip ahead in the video now, I'm gonna grab a few things and uh once I have the things I need uh I will be back with you. So why was I looking for rabbit fur? So I could find this and rope. Try not make the wrong thing there. Uh, to make to make that the stick bag. So now instead of ten sticks, we can carry twenty sticks. So now we're gonna get hacking at some sticks, make the rock slides, and then you know we'll be on our way. You know, doing this this thing. This fucking base layer thing. So I don't know if I want to keep making more of the video. I think like the base layer and modern axe is the main thing. But I mean, we can make other things right now just because like, just keep the video going. But I want to make these log sleds first. Right, we have 26. So let's throw all these into one of these rock sleds and then, yeah. Let me throw all these under that. And you have 33 sticks you need to grab. I say gather and grab at the same time. Oh no, that was aloe vera, no! Okay, I can still make some aloe vera there. Aloe vera is a uh, healing item, I'm pretty sure. Not to be mistaken, because I don't really like know many of the. Uh, the different uh, items in the game are different like like seeds and different plants you can grow in the game I don't really know that not really my specialty I think we should make a garden as well because I think like this small like bit down here would be like just our like small like area for like like armor like to store and like other stuff like that, like, I don't know why, but, like, I feel like, like, there's a blue, there's blueprints in the game that you can find, and they basically allow you to get different, like, like get different, like, building structures, like, um, that's her frame, because she's not a fucking fit, but, um, Basically, um, you can get different blueprints in the game which allow you to create different uh, buildings, such as a church being one of the items you can make. And uh, I feel like uh, using a church would be a good idea to use it as like a armory, where you can store all your ammo for your bows or like slingshots and stuff, and then you can store all your armor and your weapons and stuff. Just because like. That would be a cool idea in my opinion, you probably won't think it, but I think it's like a good idea to turn a church to an, uh, like, an Aaron Murray. Like armory, weapon storage, mainly just like an armory. Okay, I... The maximum and the maximum amount, maximum amount needed now to put into the last uh, sled. Well, then we have some sleds. Uh, if I grab one more stick, my oh, goddamn cannibals are just following me. They don't trust me. Fucking mm -hmm. humming bastards. That's all. Annoying. 
Move. I want to grab a meat. No. Alright, let's stick our hat. Hey! Oh, you hit me! That's a wall. Too bad hit. Or a bad shot. Too bad, this guy sucks so much at the game. Just sort of... Right, uh... I think we might as well build the wall as well. Just like start toiling stuff in, so... That was mainly our video for today. I think I'll just end it off now in a few minutes. Just might as well put in some of the walls and then make this garden that I was on about. Okay, I might as well put down the layout for it because I need to pick an area for it as well. I feel like just like right here I'm from the gate because I don't know how big a garden is. Fuck you. I'm killing you. One, two, three, four, five, six, six. Ah, oh, no, my paint. But we will get water now. So, that's good. Uh, a garden, right. Where can I place this? How big is a garden? Well, I should find the garden first. Uh, gardens. There's effigies. Let's see, uh, can any of you see that? Am I going by a garden? Ah, oh, there it is, garden. Oh, it's pretty small. Oh no. Oh shit. Are you? I want to spin it. Alright. So I think we should just make one across the way. It's right here, maybe. I don't know. Yeah. Now we'll place, we'll place in our, uh, we'll place in our, uh, a few drawing racks there, but we'll place our garden, like, here. Do this again, because I want to do what I did over there. Place it. Make a big ass one. There we go. That's big enough. So we just need 16 six, so that's it. Six logs. And then we'll place it in our drain rack. No, I don't wanna I wanna miss make. Oh god, why am I fucking up so bad? Make more drain racks. Scared that. Pretty terrible placement. Oh, oh, oh. oh guest star for Mr. Now you left where I go. Hey guys, guest star for Mr. Uh, Theo Waldron. Are you making a video? Yes, I'm making a forest video. You're on hard survival? No, just normal. Oh, come on, brother. You gotta be on hard survival. Show your viewers what you're capable of. <laughs> yeah, I'm not capable of much. Right, I'll place. Yeah. Few more drawing racks and then we shall end the video because this video is probably going to be like 30 minutes, at least 20 minutes long. Brother, I think you should re-record on hard survival. What you saying? Nah, nah, nah. I've already started. I'm already in. I'm already making them my base. Well, the bottom to my base. Then maybe just one more drawing Brother, rack. Brother, you should. Wait. Go on. Is your world single player or multiplayer? Single player, I think. Oh, I yeah. don't think I can join them. Yeah, yeah that's it. Well, guys, that okay. was the video. We got the modern axe and we made our sort of base layout for now. So, hopefully, next time we should at least get half of this done and then maybe start working on the mountain. But, hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to like the video if you do like it. So that guys was episode 2 of the forest video, or day 2 of forest, um, Evan did join late so it kind of messed up my outro, but um, shout out to Evan there, just there a second ago I gave him a shout out in the clip, but yeah, thanks for watching this video, and I'll see you all in part 3, where I'll probably do something good, bye.